Hi there, and welcome. The last video I promised that I would uh, give you a list of materials you would need if you were going to uh, knit a cast knit. Um, first you need, the, obviously, you need a twine if you're going to knit any kind of uh, uh, knit. For your cast knit, you're going to need the twine as well. Uh, and the, the sides twine that I use is uh, number 9 and number 12. And the twine you can buy at any uh, supply bus any business that supply uh, um, uh, marine supplies. Uh, another type of line, heavier type, you're going to need for the, the heads of your uh, cast knit. And this line, your your first slot of meshes will be done up on this, and that, and and then uh, attached to the horn of your cast knit, um, as such. Talking about the horn, this is what I use. Uh, I use. Uh, I saw this off section off of a two foot, a two uh, inch section, and I uh, drill holes all the way around it, about an inch apart. And then uh, I uh, this with your meshes on it is is uh, put around the horn like that, and then it's attached with a smaller line. Next, in order to knit, you're going to need your uh, needles. Um, I have one here that I made myself out of a uh, a paint stir stick, and uh, and. Uh, you can certainly make your own rather than go buy them but these here are two that I bought I, I like them uh, as well two different types of needles but they all uh, perform the same the same obviously um, but uh, again if you're so inclined and a bit handy for making things then maybe you can make your own the gauges you're going to need to, uh, to knit your knit. This will be for, for the meshes. This one, this flat one here, is uh, is going to be used to make your first uh, meshes on, on your uh, your head line. And that's easier to uh, to hold on to when you're making your first meshes. After that's done, then you would use this half inch uh, gauge here to knit the, the first uh, on it, the, the first maybe Three, three inches or so with this one, and uh, and then uh, once that done, I go on to uh, this one here, which is about three eight, and I use the three eight to uh, to uh, knit maybe the first foot of my cast knit from the edge down to the to about the first foot. After that, I go to a smaller gauge. What I actually use is a is a, a three eight. Uh, sand it down uh, a little bit smaller and use that rather than going to the one quarter gauge but you can I'll certainly use the one quarter to knit as well once your knit is finished you're going to need the weight for the, the foot of your uh, your cast knit and I get my I may get my own lid from uh, I go to the garage local garages and I, I get the um, the discarded wheel weights and I melt them down and, and, and get my own lid from there then I, I pour the melt the, the lid when I'm ready to pour my lid balls and I have a, a uh, this is a 12 gauge sides ball and uh, and that's I, I put them about uh, uh, maybe three quarters of an inch apart on the foot of the cast knit now you know you're going to have to gauge uh, how many how heavy you're going to have the foot if you're casting it because uh, if you're casting uh, fish in, in deeper water then you might want more weight so that it, it sinks much faster finally and not finally but then you're going to need the uh, the swivel and once the the uh, the horn, the horn of your casting is made, uh, and you're ready, and it's uh, ready to be dressed, uh, finished off. Then you you would uh, uh, use your swivel. The rails, or what I call the tucks, would attach to the the, the uh, foot of your casting, 
come up through your gauge through the bottom eye of the eye that's inside of the arm through the bottom eye down and attach opposite sides and you would have four that would four braille lines that would do that when that's done you uh, you attach it to the top eye if you're uh, if you swivel you would attach your end line and that's uh, your end line would be a couple of fathoms uh, long or you know you, you would have to gauge it how, how long you want to have your end line and I think that's about it the materials if there's something I've missed or uh, as I did this uh, and as we progress through the uh, knitting of a cast knit if there's some something else to come up I'll certainly draw your attention to it so what I'm going to do now then is make uh, make the uh, the horn that you want for your cast knit so I'm going to saw off a section of this so about uh, I just gauge it about an inch or so of an inch or so but two inches I meant but two inches I let's say that that should do it that off. Well, you can certainly buy this the commercial gauges you can certainly buy them and if you're also, if, if you're so inclined to uh, to uh, buy it rather than make your own then by all means do so I kind of set the fall off the uh, edges of the, uh, of the of the pipe so that it doesn't uh, cut into anything and the casting doesn't hang up on the burrs on the uh, on the edges of your uh, your horn Now with this done, what I want to do now is drill the holes, uh, drill the holes into uh, you know, in, into this for you and get the arm ready. So we'll move out there to the uh, the uh, drill. Now if I can sit this up some way that you can see what I'm doing. Chin. Uh, so uh, we do that all the way around about an inch apart. We're not really particular if it's exactly an inch apart, but as long as we have enough to hold the uh, casket in place quite securely, we'll be fine. There now I'm going to put yeah, this is for the, uh, the try on as you, as you need. Up over here. video what we'll do we'll sit up the first missus and uh, and then uh, get it get, get on and attach it to this horn and then we'll be well on the way to start knitting the cast knit anyhow that's it for now uh, hopefully you uh, this is quite uh, uh, understandable to you what we're doing here if not then by all means just shoot us off some questions and we'll try to make it as simple and as plain as possible for you and until the next time you take care and uh, we'll see you and god bless